Boxing fans, our next fight is scheduled for six rounds in the welterweight division. Judges are ringside scoring the fight are Ronnie McNair, Carlos Ortiz, and John Signorelli. The man in charge of the action is our referee, Steve Smoter. And now, introducing first to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the white trunks with black trim. He weighed in at 141 and one half pounds. His professional record is 13, I'm oh, sorry, three and two, with two wins coming by way of knockout. Kelly from Cleveland, Ohio. Put your hands together for our King Henry White. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the right corner, he is wearing the white trunks with blue trim. He weighed in at a trim 143 pounds. His record as a professional is six wins. No losses, four of those wins coming by the way of knockout. Gathering for a rebound and Ireland, Chris Algeries! And now on instruction. Intimidating stares from Henry White. How do they match up? In this fight, White is the older guy. He's 30. Uh, Jerry, 25. Almost even in weight, almost even in height. Chris Algieri unbeaten, the former two-time world kickbox champion. He turned pro 14 months ago in Brooklyn. Fighting now here in Long Island. And his trainer, Tim Lane, says he's a boxer puncher, but Algieri told us, hey, I'm a puncher. <laughs> he says he was a puncher when he was a kickboxer. Most kickboxers rely on punching, punching and kicking. Now when you take the kicks away, it better be all punch. Yeah, because the punches have to matter more than, than kicks inside the ring in kickboxing. Well, Algieri said uh, that White should be there for him. and. Uh, that he could punch too, so he predicts a knockout. So he won't have to come looking for him, which is good for us. And watching. Algeria all in white, and the black and white is Henry White. And the first thing I noticed about Algieri, he's wearing two very different socks. He's got the Italian sock and the what, neutral corner sock? <laughs> oh no, there's something on there. And I think, although I have yet to see uh, Jerry throw a left hook, I think it's going to be a battle of hooks. Uh, Jerry is moving, positioning himself to throw power left hook. You already saw here how Henry Wright throws some nice, nice left hooks. Boy, and, ho and White is right there for uh, Algeria. It looks like it's another uh, national emblem. I can't read uh, in a sock. Can you, Steve? Let's see. Oh, well, let's, let's not dwell on the footwork. There might be a knockout. <laughs> They got a left hook by Henry White. But I'm intrigued. <laughs> Watching his socks instead of his face. Why did you have to mention his socks, Farhood? I'm sorry. <laughs> There's right. that hook. Left hook. Oh, Jerry left hurt there. Stumbled a little bit. White in his face, so. Nothing subtle about Henry White. He's got a little, nice little head movement and such, but. Nice he catches counter hook. Jerry, yes. Yeah, catches him coming and uses that aggression against him. And Henry White's been very busy and very effective. Yesterday at the weigh-in, we asked Henry White what his style was. He said, I don't have one. Well, you know what? He's a left hooker. I know his style now. <laughs> well, listen, three wins. In three wins, he has two knockouts. So he can punch a little. Trained by his father. Nice Chris uh, Algieri coming in very squared, and he gets driven off by an overhand right. Uh, Jerry blocked most of those shots, though. Boy, he's so square, though, Ryan. This is actually a good match, and, and I think this will go to distance. Uh, I think it's going to come down to a flurry of two every round. Yeah, look at White. Right down the middle with a very quick left. Algieri with a very, very high guard. So high that I think he's blocking his own vision. See that? He puts his gloves in front of his own eyes. Not a good idea. Good first round here. Henry White may have taken that. No doubt. Could anticipate what the advice should have been in Algieri's corner is to settle down a little bit. It really seems all over the place. 
I think I, for Ajiri, the key to his success tonight would be the jab. He has to throw a consistent, stiff jab. And for Henry Wright, every chance he get, he got a counterpunch with that left hook. Well, he got a little time in six rounds, so he could settle in. But man, White will not be intimidated. White is a four-time Cleveland Golden Gloves champion. How many hundred amateur fights? And uh, he looks very composed. He does, and he throws nice short punches. He does not. He definitely does not look like a guy with um, three wins, two losses, and one draw. Stopped in those losses. Not hitting with a lot of authority, but he's been effective. He's mixed the attack well. Jabs, left hooks few right crosses there a lead right as he's using again Algieri catches him lunging leaning forward Algieri's got to get more effectively busy and they want him to get on that jab which would be great advice to follow Henry White is mixing it up he's staying close to the next minute he's outside working the jab yeah it's a good point and Algieri when he's in tight is smothering himself and we should point out that Henry White, the last time he fought was in Long Island, and he beat Tommy Renoni, who was the 11-1. and one. So well, that was a big win. Hey, forgive me, Maradona, but uh, that other sock is from Argentina, Steve. You're right. Benji, our stage hand, adroitly caught that. Stage manager. He's got better eyes than all of us. Lead right from White. See, well, one guy has not taken over yet. It's just back and forth. So there's, there's no rhythm on one guy's part. I feel that White's gotten Algeria's respect. He's just, I think he's got him fighting a little cautiously. But I'm not feeling those punches. Maybe Algeria's feeling them and feeling get walked through him. I like this fight. Maybe for that very reason, Brian, that nobody's established command. Correct, it, it, it's evenly matched and it's back and forth. And I must say, you know, jo Joe Kimbo yeah. did an <laughs> excellent job on tonight's card. When I saw the lineup, I said, wow, this is a, a very, very even, good card. This is a little better round for Algieri, but right now it's White that's throwing the shot. Yeah, White's been so effectively evasive, but then, you know, he's standing there, as you said, it's not like he's running by any means. He's spotting himself up well to punch and land. How do you guys have it through two? I got it even. I got it even. 19-19. You know, Henry White at 30 with uh, 100 amateur fights, but now just his, uh, just his seventh as a pro. And his father very elusively said, I said, where, what happened to the big gap? He said street time. So I don't know where he went, but he disappeared for four years off the boxing scene. Now Algeri getting much more aggressive, and White felt those shots and came back with something. Not terribly effective. No, but it's important that White did come back with yes. something. Very important. You want to not only fight, punch first, you want to punch last. And he punched last in that exchange. But it's also important that Algeri is establishing ground. He's the one moving forward, yeah, throwing punches, backing White up. Yeah, he seems like he's closing the gap a little bit and comfortable that way. But White is catching him coming in at times. Ah, nice exchange from Algeri. It wakes the crowd up. But White tries to buzz him. Algeri drills him with the left hand. Now they punch together. These are very close rounds. We've got them even, even through two. It's a six-rounder. White would rather counterpunch, wouldn't he? Yeah, well, why, it, you can tell his temperament is a natural counterpuncher. Anytime somebody has a powerful left hook, which he has shown he has is a nice left hook, the counterpunchers. Steve, can you remember one boxer with a left hook that let off a jab? You mean hook oh, off the jab? right no. hand. That hurt Crawford. Straight right hand from Algieri. A lot of time left in the third. He's doing the right thing by going to the body. And Crawford comes back with a fiery combination. Algieri getting a little sloppy. It's Algieri's round, but I'll give uh, I'll give 
White a lot of credit because every time Algeri scores big, White comes back. He's, yeah. he's fighting to not lose that momentum, but he's losing the round. And there's time in the round. But now they're inside. He's establishing himself as the boss in there, and that's important. Who's that? Algeri, that is. Yeah. I'm sorry. See, now he's the one going around the circles, giving angles, as White is the one looking for him to stop. White eats a combination, comes back with a right hand of his own. Decent infighting and good uh, give and take. Uh, they exchange uppercuts. Power shots inside. Algieri changes angles, creates fresh opportunities nicely. Yeah, very nice, diverse attack this round from Algieri. That was a big third round for him. We head to the fourth, our six round welterweight fight on Broadway Boxing. Henry White, white and black. Chris Algieri coming off a strong third round. Lots of offense, and as Steve hit on, a very diverse attack. Yeah, and it's very important, Nick, for White to regain control here. And the way he's going to do it, if he does it, is with counter punching. You see Algieri with that high guard. He's hard to lead, hit with a lead shot, but he can be countered because White's landed that left hook a lot in this fight. Each guy with uh, six total fights. This is a fabulous test. Again, Joe Kiambo with the matchmaking. It's first rate for both. Absolutely dead fit, competitive fight. And I really like Algieri, and I'll tell you why, because he has a guy in front of him. Three wins, two losses, he, he, you know. But he didn't come here with the mindset to lose. He came here to win, and he's fighting and testing Algieri. And Algieri, I think, has stayed true to form in terms of being aggressive and being the more confident boxer. Throwing a bad round behind him, you know, maybe the first round that he lost. It's, it's White that's been six rounds. Algieri never has, yet I'd say the more animated fighter right now is Algieri. Seems to have a little more in the tank. In the fourth. And right now, White just doesn't know where the shots are coming from because he's getting hit with left hooks, he's getting hit with right uppercuts. Body, head. Right. All the punches except the jab. We haven't seen too, too much uh, effective jabbing from Algieri. Now they're inside uh, where Algieri wants it. Crawford had backed off a couple of times. He's inside, he gets clipped. Buzz with that left hand, but a left in return. And it's strange. Algeri has, has had success throwing the power shots on the inside. And he's a taller fighter, Steve. Yep. He's 5'10". Um, Henry White is 5'8". So the shorter guy has had the, 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 the space that he needed, and that's being close. I think his, his decent footwork it seems to be creating those good punching opportunities. But Crawford has come back and buzzed him. So both guys try to go to the body now. And both left hooks were blocked by Adjieri. I'm glad to see they're throwing him to the body. I think you, you just touched on That's the only thing that's missing from um, Chris Arsenal right now is the jab. Really no, no jab, although I thought after the first round that he would commit to the jab, but he hasn't. He just starts to white with a straight right hand lead. Tell you, with the shots he's landing, dare I say, he doesn't necessarily have to jab. He's winning the rounds without it. Ditto. A good round, for not a bad round for either, but a much better one for Chris Algieri. <laughs> Referee Steve Smoger puts them together. Start of round five. It's Broadway Boxing from Westbury, Long Island. Nick Charles, Steve Farhood, and Brian Adams, ringside as usual. Delighted you could be with us tonight. And you know what? You mentioned Smoger. I don't remember seeing him the whole fight. I haven't mentioned him. <laughs> it's been a very clean That's fight. I, I felt I had to. He's, well, he's <laughs> worthy of mention. He's one of the great referees in boxing, but he hasn't had to work very hard here because these guys that's are fighting a, that's a clean fight. That's a great fight. point, you know? Has there really been a clinch? They're banging pretty good here at the start of the fourth. Or fifth, I'm sorry. Excellent. Very competitive fight, but as Brian pointed out, you could see Algieri slowly taking command. But again, Brian, reiterate how you think so. I, I, I think I if you notice the body language for starters, look at the movement. Everything for Algeria is, is confident with the bounce going forward. 
everything for Henry right now is, is sort of slow and moving backwards. Look at the body language. That, that would tell you the momentum is going which way. Although Chris Henry just landed, I'm sorry. Um, Chris White. Henry, Henry White. Henry White just landed a nice right hand. White's still a formidable counter puncher. I'm not saying he has a hellacious shot or anything, but he's caught Algieri's attention. The difference is early in the fight, White was landing that left hook again and again as a counter punch. Now we're seeing one shot at a time from him. Yes. As I said, if you look at the body language, it would tell you how to fight, which way the fight is going. Al Jerry looks like he could go 10 rounds. He looks very fresh. Al Jerry likes to turn and fire that hook. Every second or third punch is a left hook to the body by Al Jerry. <laughs> you know, born and raised, right hand, Greenwood, Greenlaw, New York. He has um, family and friends here tonight. And it hasn't affected him mentally. He's just been relaxed, business as usual. Mm -hmm. I agree. Good counter shot from uh, Henry White. It, it, if I can be critical, that's the only one, there's only one spot that I'll be critical with Algeria. And that's the fact that, oh, beautiful combination. Yeah, now he's letting the power shots go. Now White's digging in. Trying to come back with something to drive El Jerry off him. Well, I can't be critical when a guy's like, you know, pummeling his opponent. <laughs> Your like timing this. wasn't <laughs> great. Yeah, there. Right, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I hold that thought. <laughs> but I'll make your point for you. I'd like to see more jab. Even even if he's landing shots without it, he might get a stoppage if he throws the jab first and hides his power shots. And I'll tell you why that's important next round. He's taking the attitude out of Henry White, I'll say that. Chris Algieri's taking command of this fight with a round left. And I touched at the end, he's taking some of the attitude and swagger out of Henry White. White has forced him to fight, and I thought brought out the best in Algieri. And I like the fact that White came in here with a lot of attitude and enough ability. That's the way you learn, man. Look at these guys are still going at it. White still wants to win. Exchange that left hand, and Algieri has the stronger hook. Oh, beautiful left hook. And White coming on big here in the sixth. And, and like you said, Steve, this is what you want to see. Last round, the guy come in as quote unquote the opponent, but yet he's trying to win. That's good matchmaking, and that's how a young fighter gets better. And we should also point out, here we are in round six, and Algieri, the former two-time world kickboxing champion, hasn't thrown one kick yet, and I'll give him credit <laughs> for that. Discipline, focus. <laughs> then I think we'd be calling on Steve Smoger. <laughs> White trying to pull it out of fire here. He slowed down now, but he came out, came on really big to open this sixth heat. And we were talking last last round, Steve, on the attack of Algeri. What I would like to see is, you know, the jab because the jab changes a lot of different things. It gives your opponent different looks. Work the jab, work the body, work the head. Good power yeah. shots. Good combination firepower from Algeri. And White, for the first time, is hanging on. And a nice sense of distance there by Algieri. As he landed his shots, he didn't smother his own power. He stepped back, reloaded, and landed more. Well, if he could rev it up a little bit, Henry White is starting to hold on a little bit. Well, Algieri never passed four rounds before. Now he's in the sixth. He looks fresh. He looks like he could turn it on and go for the stoppage if he wants. He looks fresher than Henry, right, right, Henry White right now. Yep. All right, they got a minute left. And they want Algieri to close it out convincingly. Good White. body work, and he goes upstairs. White looks tired. I think the body shots have a lot to do with that. No doubt. He was content to clinch a minute ago for the first time in this fight. Watch for that right uppercut. And that right cross landed from Algieri. You're right. Henry Crawford, or I should say Henry White, is leaning in dangerously. Yeah, he, he, because he's tired. Right, right there. there, yeah. But he's gutsy. Well, Jerry should see that. He tried the uppercut there, but he's backing up. 
A little slow with that right hand. He came off the rope, a little slow with the counter right hand. A big second half effort from Chris Algieri, who looks like he's come away a clear, convincing winner in a spirited fight fans enjoy. We hope you did on Broadway Boxing. Back for the official decision after this. We have a winner. Judge Ronnie McNair scores the fight 59-55. Judge Carlos Ortiz scores the fight 58-56. And John Signorelli scores the fight 58-56. For your winner by unanimous decision and still...